Hey everyone, Michael O'Brien here. Today we're going to talk about auditioning to get the gig from a client. Hello my friends and welcome back to another episode of Advice for Magicians where my job is to help you guys to become the best possible entertainers that you can be. Now in today's video we're going to be covering a topic for professionals and that is simply this. What do you do when you get on the phone with a client and they're like, okay, cool, we want to book you, but we kind of want you to come over and do like a sort of audition, right? We want to see you do some tricks and everything to make sure that we, uh, you know, know that you are fit for our event. What do you do in that situation? We're going to talk about that in this video. Of course, if you guys haven't already done so, make sure to click the subscribe button. Don't forget to ring the bell. That way, you know, every time I upload a new video. Stay tuned to the very end. We're going to talk about some really cool stuff so that you guys can uh, get the most out of your time here at O'Brien Magic on YouTube. But let's talk about the contents of this video. So what am I talking about? Essentially, you're auditioning for an opportunity to perform at a client's event, whether it be a wedding or a birthday party or what have you. Sometimes the client will ask you, you know, to come along and do some magic, right? So what do you do if that ever happens? Now, first of all, I think it's very, very important to make sure that you are putting your client's mind at ease, that you really are the best person for the specific event that they're having, right? So having said that, you really do want to do your due diligence, make sure that you are indeed the best, uh, you know, performer for their event. If they're looking for an illusion show, and you're a close-up magician, maybe it's not necessarily uh, the gig for you. So make sure that you definitely are right for the job. That way, in the event this does happen, you're not wasting the client's time and you're not wasting your time either, right? So what I like to do is something kind of along the lines of this. Let's just say I'm on the phone with them, right? And I'm talking ba 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 ba, And they're like, oh, great, perfect. We would love to have you along. Do you mind maybe coming by the house real quick and doing a little demonstration for us so that we could see exactly what it is that you're gonna offer for us at the event? I never say no to this. I always just make the caveat, yes, I would definitely love to. Just so you know, it is gonna be a $50 deposit for me to come out and to do this for you. Now that deposit will go towards the booking fee. I just wanna make sure that you're serious about having me at your event uh, so that I don't waste your time, right? And I tell them that in such a way that it makes it seem like I want them to be serious. But at the same time, I don't want to drive all the way out there, do a little demo for them, essentially a free show if we're being serious about it for a second, right? Um, and then drive all the way home only for them to ring me up and be like, yeah, we decided to go with someone else, right? So having them commit to some sort of deposit, it doesn't have to be a massive deposit. For me, $50, right? Let's just say it's an $800 gig. $50 is nothing. And that goes towards the booking fee. It's not $50 in addition to, it's $50 that goes towards the booking fee. What this does is this weeds out all of the people that just want to audition a bunch of magicians. Because what I don't want to do is I don't want to show up, do my thing, leave, and then another magician comes in after me, does their thing, they leave. Another magician comes in, they do their thing, they leave. And the next thing you know, I, I get that call. Hey, so we saw you and like 12 other magicians and we decided to go with magician number seven. Sorry, this is your call to let you know that we're not going to have you, right? Because what ends up happening now is you're going out and you're wasting your time. The whole purpose of going out and doing this, um, I guess we'll call it an audition, right? Or a courtesy demonstration, whatever you'd like to call it, right? The whole point of doing this is to put the client's mind at ease that they really are making the right decision in choosing you. Uh, it's to also kind of show them exactly what you're going to do, maybe answer some questions for them. Maybe they're like, oh, you know what? We really love that, but we would love to see you do the red ball thing too. Can you do the red ball thing for us? Oh, you know what? Like, I wasn't a huge fan of that one thing that you did with the Pokemon cards. No one at our event is really going to even know what Pokemon is. Maybe don't do that, but can you do this instead and blah, 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 blah. And that is the point of going to one of these uh, courtesy meetings, right? These courtesy uh, demonstrations. It's to kind of showcase what you're going to do, put their mind at ease so that they know that they're booking the right person. What it is not for is for you to audition against a bunch of other magicians so that they can make up their mind which one they're going to pick. 
They should have already made up their mind about you, right? So that's what having that deposit does. It weeds that out. Unless they're gonna pay a deposit to you and audition other magicians. I mean, at the worst case scenario, if that ever happens, I guess you made 50 bucks to show up to their house for 20 minutes and do a little bit of magic, right? Obviously you didn't get booked your fee, but at the very least, your time was compensated, you got your gas money back, all of that stuff, right? So that's what I highly recommend you do. Don't say no, don't, you know, be stuck up about it. Don't be like, ah, well, you know, like if do you wanna book me or not, like none of that stuff, right? Um, but I do say, yeah, I definitely do house calls. You know, I, I come out and I do like, a, like I said, you can call it like a, like a courtesy demonstration or, you know, whatever, whatever cool name you wanna give it. Uh, and say, yeah, I definitely do that. Just so you know, to have me come out, it is gonna be a $50 deposit, right? And again, that is just so that you know that they're serious and they know that you're serious about actually doing this. All right, my friends, thank you so, so much for watching this video, sticking all the way to the very end. If you have not already done so, I highly recommend you guys click the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so that you know every time I upload new videos, if you really dig this content, I have a bunch of really cool videos coming out every single week from magic product reviews to advice for magicians videos, live performances, and more. Now you can also join the membership program here called the Mob Squad. All you have to do is click the join button or you can use the link in the description below if you're not able to see the join button. It's only $1 a month and you guys will access a bunch of really cool stuff here on the channel, right? You'll get access to all my tutorial videos in the tutorial playlist. You'll get early access to all of these videos. So you guys don't have to wait for them to premiere. As soon as I upload them, you guys will be able to check those out in the early access playlist. You also get emojis, badges, discounts at O'Brien Magic Shop, and I'll even shout you out right here on the channel. So as a matter of fact, I'd like to go ahead and do that right now. So please join me in welcoming some of our newest Mob Squad members. Please say hello uh, to Maxime. Laliberte, hopefully I didn't butcher your name too much. Uh, Sean Keys and Howard Markovitz. Thank you guys so much for joining the Mob Squad. It's because of you. It's because of all of my subscribers and everyone that continues to like, comment, and share all of my videos. It's because of you that I am able to keep this channel going. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you so, so much for doing that. Until next time, everyone, I will see you again with more advice for magicians. Take care.